Welcome back to JTV Take 2 because I fucked up the first attempt. A few weeks ago I made this video and it seemed to do pretty well. Apparently sex sells. So we're back. This time doing something a little bit different. We found this lovely lady. Who oh, fuck, fucks ghosts. That's right. This lady is getting boned by Casper the extra friendly ghost. But how does someone like that start? How do you hit on a ghost? I was living with my fiance. Wait, so this one was with someone? Then this ghost come along and wrecked the fucking engagement? Casper not so friendly anymore. Secondly, can you imagine being that man? Hey, John, man. Sorry to hear about your missus. What happened? Uh, well, I mean, shit happens, you know. Um, she cheated on me. What the fuck, man? That's rough. Who is this dickhead? Let's go cave his head in. Well... I started to feel kind of like a presence, maybe, I guess you could call it, around the house. Yeah, which is then... some people would be a bit a little scared of. Not this lady. Oh, no, 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 no. She thought, get the smooth jazz playlist on and get the lube ready. Ooh. Even when it came up behind you and you could feel its mm. breath on your neck, yeah. that still didn't freak you out. Not at all, no. Bloody hell. Who would have thought Casper would have been a heavy breathing type of guy? Not at all, no. <laughs> Look at her reaction. Not at all, no. Just thinking about it is getting her going. I think a lot of the people they get on this morning are, are fake or over the top. Just to get on TV. But this woman, she actually craves seafood sausage. You decided that you would take it to the next level and you dressed in a very sexy negligee. Yeah. Whoa, wait a fucking second, yeah. It's one thing to fuck a ghost, but an entirely different thing to dress up in some sexy lingerie to entice the fucker in. Also, can we just mention Phil's use of the word negligee? Negligee. Negligee. Can we say it? Negligee. Yeah. It's the most middle class word I've ever heard in my life. Went into the spare bedroom okay. and, uh, and uh, turned the lights off and waited. I did, yes. Oh my god, Phil, how could you make the act of making love with the undead sound so seedy? You should be ashamed of yourself. Making her sound like some crazy lady just waiting in the dark, half naked, wait, waiting for a ghost to come. And, what, and happened? what happened? Um, I waited and waited for a while and then I got a little bit worried. I thought maybe I'd scared it off by being too keen. Too keen? I don't think you need to worry, to be honest with you. I don't think he's getting too much action in the spirit world on the account of everyone, you know, being dead. Since so I'd given up hope from was starting to fall asleep, it came to me. Fascinating choice of words there. And, and what happened? <laughs> Look at Schofield's face. <laughs> he's dying to laugh. But at the same time, he's kind of desperate to find out you can bang the undead. I had sex with the Is ghost. It? With the ghost? Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, right? But it's impossible not to like this woman. She's quite clearly bonkers, don't get me wrong. But she seems lovely. You know, ghost fondling aside. But you can't <laughs> wrap your arms around a ghost. Nice one, Ollie. Point out the obvious there, love. Physically, how does <clears throat> how does the sex bit happen? You can still feel it. Like, it felt it was kind of... Oh, it's difficult to explain. Like a weight. It's kind of a weight, but at the same time weightless. Weightless sex. It makes perfect sense to me. And does a sexual experience with a ghost end in orgasm? Um, for me, yeah. For me? Is she implying that there's other people out there banging the undead and just not enjoying it as much? Mm. Or fan for the ghost? I just hope so. Well, I think so, Phil. That sounds to me like the ghost is doing all the bloody work. A r relationship carried on for some time and eventually you got busted by your boyfriend. My God. Can you imagine walking in on your missus banging a ghost? <sighs> that would haunt you for the rest of your life. Poor choice of words there. Yeah, I was, um, he came home from work a day early. Well, the inconsiderate bastard. And apparently he says he saw a, the shape of a man through the spare room window. Hang on a second. This is starting to sound a little bit far-fetched to me. Do you think she was actually banging the neighbour and just made up an elaborate story just not to look like the bad guy? Yeah, as the fiancé's walked through the door, she's shoving him out the window. Get out, love, get out! Oh, you've caught me in the act. Who is he? Uh... Ghost had never showed him his physical form to you at all. Yeah. And yet, interesting. to your fiancé, did. Yeah, which I was slightly annoyed about, to be honest. That's fair, to be honest. I think I'd be pretty pissed off if I was in a relationship with someone I couldn't see. I think it was in love with me too, and... That so was he wanted to, he you wanted. to end your yeah, relationship, yeah. which it did. So you think the ghost was trying to break up your relationship? <laughs> I just love the idea of the ghost, like, dick measuring with a flesh bag. Like, I don't even have a dick and I'm fucking a better than you. I don't know why a ghost would sound like that, to be honest with you. <laughs> he's dead, so he's got us out really, like, uh... This re the relationship with this particular spirit fizzled out, out over a period of time. Figure out what it is that goes wrong in a relationship with, with a ghost, because you can't have the normal arguments like you haven't put the bins out or your conversation is boring. <laughs> the sex was a bit dead. <laughs> yeah, that was shit. After that relationship ended, I mean, there have been m many other spirits um, that have come to visit you. So you're saying more and more spirits are coming back to hers to get lucky. He must be coming back to his mates like, Hey guys, I pulled a live one the other day. Fuck off. Nah, nah, really, really? Ah, fuck off, I don't believe you, man. Well, why don't you have a go? She's dead easy. Just down the corner, like. Since your first 
sexual encounter with a spirit, you've, you haven't had human contact in that way. So once you go ghost, you never go back. <laughs> Pretty much. Come on, Phil. You do a better writing than that. Once you've had death, you've had the best. Once you go ghost, you crave that ectos. Plasm. Once you've had spirit, you've got to have it. I don't know. If you come up with any better ghostly rhymes than that, let me know in the comment section. But what about children? I don't know. I've done actually a bit of research into phantom pregnancies. Oh, no. She's been reading the Bible, isn't she? She thinks she's the mother Mary, for fuck's sake. Phantom pregnancy. Explains whole religion, eh? Atheism. Confirmed. Would you like to become pregnant with this? Yeah. Simply not going to happen, though, is it? Go <laughs> like a ghost. The ghost <laughs> baby. <laughs> like, so, um... Even Schofield can't get his head around this one. A ghost baby? Mm. Polly then goes on to ask a really long question, which I'll break down as, science man says you're bonkers. You're actually in sleep paralysis mode when people get loads of sexual feelings. What do you think about that, then? I don't think so, because my first ghost um, used to follow me around the house and kind of lure me in. A ghost lured her in? Lured her in? How the fuck do you get lured in by a ghost? Just a ghost stood in the corner, half naked, rubbing his six pack like. That wasn't even ghostly, was it? Special effects, I'm afraid, it's, it's really low budget. <laughs> but genuinely, how would a ghost lure someone in? Let me know in the comment section. If we get enough funny responses, we'll do a follow up video. It's always within the building. Uh, yeah. So, is it the house, do you think? I mean, obviously, you as well, they find you attractive, but <laughs> I should imagine you've got quite a name for yourself in the spirit world. <laughs> <laughs> Just call her a slut. Hey, Schofield, we'll have no slut shaming on morning television, all right? We'll save that for after nine o'clock. For the future, uh, you, the, the, for, uh, you, the, no need. All right, Phil, get your words on, mate. For uh, a, a boyfriend or husband or anything like that, of no. the human kind. Dearly, I'd like to find one that I would like to settle down with and spend the rest of my life with. You want to settle down with a ghost? How's that gonna happen then? <laughs> You've got this never-ending, never-aging energy which is just floating about and you've got this flesh bag of bones and organs and gooey shit who's going to get older and older and eventually lose her looks. And Casper is going to find a younger, fitter ghost lady to settle down with. Sorry. I haven't felt like this since I watched Twilight. Time to end the video now. Don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications on. And don't forget to sell your soul so you too can enjoy loving the afterlife. Okay, before we go, a lot of people have been asked about the clickbait Q&A from a few weeks ago. So I started writing it, um, and to be honest, it just wasn't very good. So to be honest, I don't really want to post something that isn't the best I can do, if you know what I mean. No fucking jokes. Lee, I'm looking at you, you bastard. But if you do still want the clickbait Q&A, I do still have the questions saved. Ask some more in the comment section, and if we get maybe, say, 50 likes, we'll, we'll, I'll look back at it. Thanks for watching.